Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a C program to display the hollow right angle triangle pattern. So now what I have done is I have taken this pattern in terms of rows and columns. Now here you guys can see we have five rows and if you look at it, for every row, we have different number of uh, columns and in the last row, we have five columns. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some modification to this pattern and with that modification, it will be a simple pattern that we can make. Then we will modify the code and we will uh, make it display this hollow rectangle triangle pattern. So what I'm going to do is here in this hollow space, I'm going to add the stars. So now if you look at this pattern, then it is the right angle triangle pattern which we can write the code for. After that, we will modify the code and uh, we will make it look like a hollow right angle triangle pattern. So here, now if you look at this pattern, then in the first row, we have one star or in the first row, we have one column and we're displaying star in that uh, column. In the second row, we have star in two column. In the third row, we have star in three columns and in the fourth row, we have four columns and we're displaying star. In the fifth row, we have five columns and we are displaying star. Now, if we continue this pattern and let's say if this pattern is for 10 rows, then in that 10th row, we will have 10 columns containing the stars. So by looking at this, we can directly say that number of columns that we need to have for a particular row is equal to row number. So whatever the row number is, that many columns that we need to have for that particular row and we can display star or any other character in those columns. Okay. Now we will write the program for this pattern first. Here I have already written some code to simplify the things. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm including the stdio.h header file so that we can use some built-in functions like printf and scanf. And then we have the main function and in this main function, I have declared a variable called as total rows. This variable will contain the number of rows for which we have to display the pattern and that value will be entered by the user. So here what I have done is I have used the printf function and I have asked the user to enter the number of rows for which you know he wants the pattern and then I'm reading the value by using this kind of function and I'm storing that number in this total rows variable. So now what we have to do is we have to display the pattern row by row or line by line. So every line will contain the stars that we have to print for a particular row. So what we do is we will take a for loop and I'm going to take a variable here and I'm going to call this as row number. And I will initialize it with one because we start counting the row number from one and how long we want to continue this for loop or how many rows we want to have for this pattern. So that value is present in this total rows variable. So in order to get that many rows or in order to run this for loop that many times, we can write the condition row number less than or equal to total rows. And after that, we will increment the value of the row number variable so that with every iteration, it can uh, point to the next row. Now, if the user says he wants the pattern for five rows, then this for loop will run five times and it will provide us five rows. So what I can do is I can use the printf function and I can display, let's say row number. So I'm going to use percentage D here and then I'm going to display the value that we get for the row num variable. If I save this program and if I run this code and if I say five rows, then you guys can see we get one, two, three, four, five. Now here the for loop has run five times and we get the row numbers one, two, three, four, five, but all of them are in the same line. So what we want is we want every row to appear in separate lines. So for that, what we can do is we can insert a new line after whatever that we have to print for a particular row. So I'm going to use a printf function in here and I'm going to insert that uh, new line in here. Okay. Now if I save this program and if I run this code and if I say five rows, now you guys can see we get uh, row numbers printed in every line or every row. 
Now what we have to do is for every row we need to calculate the number of columns that we need to have and we need to print that many columns for every row. We know that for every row we need to have whatever the row number is that many columns. Since we need one or more than one columns for a particular row we can use a for loop and I'm going to take a variable and I'm going to call it as column number. We will initialize the column number from one because we will start counting the column number from one and how many columns that we want to have for a particular row. We know that that value depends on the row number. So we can write the condition here as column number less than or equal to row number. Now here for example when we are in the third row the row number will contain three and this for loop that we are writing for the columns will run three times. So it will start the count from one up to three. Okay, it will run three times. And uh, after the condition part, we will increment the value of the column variable. Okay. So now what we can do is we can specify what we want to display for a particular column. So now I'm going to take this printf function, which is printing the row number. And uh, I'm going to paste that here inside this for loop which is for the columns now here instead of displaying the row number i'm going to display the star you know if you want you can display the row number and here this printf function which is adding a new line will be in the end and it will be outside the for loop which is for the columns that's because whatever that we have to print for a particular row after doing that we need to go to the next line for printing the next row. So we will add this new line in the end. Okay. Now if I save this program and if I run this code and if I say five rows, now you guys can see we get this pattern, but I can make it look a bit pretty. So what I have to do is I have to add a space after printing the star. So it will just add some separation between the columns for uh, you know every row. And after that, if I save the program, and if I run this code and if I say five rows, now you guys can see this pattern looks much better. Now we have the uh, pattern that we were talking about this pattern, which is a right angle triangle pattern. And in this pattern, if you look at it, then we are printing the stars in this right angle triangle shape. But the pattern that we want has some hollow spaces. It is a hollow right angle triangle pattern. So now what we need to do is in this pattern, we don't have to display stars in every columns. We have to display them only in certain columns. And now we have to come up with the logic for this one. So if you look at it, then in the first column of every row, we are displaying the star. That is a one condition. So now in our program, what we can do is we can add in some condition and only if that condition is true, then we will display the star. If that condition is not true, then we will not display the star. We will just insert a space. Okay. We have to write the condition for where we want to display the star. If that condition evaluates to true, then we will display the star else we will display this space which will, you know, make up this uh, hollow spaces that we have in this pattern. So the first condition is for the first column in every row, we have to display the star. Now I'm going to try to add that condition. So instead of displaying the stars in every column, we will have the condition. So it will be if and I'm going to say if the column number, you know, we can get the column number by using the column variable. If it is equal to one, then I will display the star. I'm going to use the parenthesis to make it less confusing for the beginners. If the column number is one, then we will display the star. Else what we do is we will display a space. So I'm going to use the printf function and I'm going to say space. And after printing space, I'm going to add another space and this second space I'm adding will separate the columns. The first space is for the empty space that we want to have instead of displaying the star and the second space is for separating the columns so that it can look pretty. 
okay now if i save this program and if i run this code and if i say five rows now you guys can see since we have added some condition only in the first column we are getting the star but to complete this pattern we need to get or we need to print stars in some other locations or in some other positions also so now if you look at here in the last row for every column we are displaying the star so if we are in the last row then we have to display the star in every column so we can add that condition now one question that comes to our mind is okay now we know that uh, we are displaying this pattern for five rows so we know that the last row is the row number five how can we calculate uh, whether we are in the last row or not now in our program what i have done is i have uh, created a variable called as total rows and this variable contains the value that is how many rows the user wants in this pattern and here we are starting the row number counting from one so if the user says i want this pattern for 10 rows and if we are starting the row number from one then the last row will have the row number 10 and that value is present in the total rows variable that we have in this program so we can add that condition now now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to group this condition by using the parenthesis okay now now here we want to display the star for the first column of every row or whenever the column number is one we want to display the star along with that if we are in the last row then we want to display the star in every column so we can add that condition here by writing if row number is equal to total rows if the user says he wants the pattern for five rows then when the row number becomes five that is when we are in the last row this condition will be true for every column so it will display star in the last row you know in every column if i save this program and if i run this code and if i say five rows now you guys can see we get this pattern now the one condition that we have to add is for printing the stars in this diagonal line when the row number is one and column number is one we are displaying the star this one when the row number is two and column number is two we are displaying star this one similarly when the row number and column number are same which is three we are displaying star here and here also here also same thing so whenever we have row number is equal to column number whenever both of them are same we have to display the star so we can add that condition to our code now so here we will say that we want to display the star whenever we have row number is equal to column number and the column number is available in the column num variable here i'm using the double equal to sign which is the comparison operator now here we are saying that for every row whatever the row number is that many columns we want and while displaying the columns for the rows we are writing these conditions if any one of this condition is true display the star else display a space now i'm going to save this program and i'm going to run this code and if i say 10 rows now you guys can see we get this hollow rectangle triangle pattern so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like it hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching see you later in the next video